In this video, I wanted to tell you about a new guitar for me. Uh, it's a new guitar for Gibson, uh, 2019 series, original collection, I think they're calling them. Uh, they make sort of a 50s inspired um, model guitars and then 60s inspired model guitars. This is uh, you know, from the 50s collection, it's a gold top. Uh, this one is P90s um, and, and it has the bridge and tailpiece. So it's a, I guess a 56 sort of inspired guitar. Um, the price point of these guitars was honestly what got my attention. I have wanted a gold top, had one years ago, and you know how we do get rid of it for a long time, but the prices were just way up there and there's other things that seemed like um, I could justify more, I guess you'd say. So when I saw the price of these guitars, it really caught my attention and I think it has a lot of us, you know, um, that they came down on price. And so the question becomes, well, you know, is the guitar a good guitar? You know, what what's it like? And so if you're thinking about one of these, or you have one and just want to kind of see somebody else's opinion, but if you're thinking about one of these, then hopefully this would be one piece of information you could maybe use to decide what to do. Um, I will say that I actually was able to negotiate on the, the price a little bit, so maybe keep that in mind. Um, you know, guitar inventories get big in stores sometimes and they'd like to see these things disappear into our hands. So I actually got it for what I think is a, a really, really fair price. Um, so I would say from the price standpoint, me as a customer, guitar player for a few years, 100% satisfied with the guitar for the money. Okay, so after I get it, what do we think? Well, uh, the guitar, this one's about 9.2, I think, between 9 and 10. I have a, a couple of Les Pauls that are a bit lighter, but to me, this is very acceptable. Um, a pound or two to me, I don't, I don't really notice. Some people do, but I'm not that sensitive, I suppose. So it feels like I want it to feel. It has nitro finish. It, it's a good way to, it, it, it just feels and looks like you'd want a Les Paul to look in my, you know, for me, in my opinion. Uh, the gold I like on it, uh, we can dicker about the gold color too, as, as Gibson, you know, Gibsonites, but uh, I just like it and I, I'm gonna play it and, and enjoy it. So not really worry about if it's the exact right gold. Um, the back of it is beautiful. It's got a good piece of wood, it's two piece, which is hard to see, I'm sure on this video, but it's really hard to see just as I'm looking at it here. Um, so, you know, the, the weight's good, the setup, uh, I can't say enough about the setup. I just say it in this, I haven't touched it and don't ever plan to touch it unless it over time needs it. It came plecked from Gibson Factory. Um, like most of us, probably pretty persnickative on how I like the guitar to play, because that's, you know, where we really contact the guitar. And it, it is perfect. It had tins on it, I replaced the strings. That's the only thing I've done to it. Other than that, it's absolutely stock. Um, and I don't need to do anything to it, so, 100% satisfied with the setup of the guitar for me. I mean, it, it, I don't know how you could ask it to play any better. It really, it plays as good as any historic or even collector's choice guitars that I've ever played. It, it really plays fantastic. Um, so, you know, the quality control, like, yeah, it, I, I don't see any blaring uh, things that I go, oh my gosh, well, it'd be nice if they cut the nut right or the nut's great. Um, I suppose if you took a microscope or magnifying glass over it, you could find something to be displeased about, but it's probably true with most guitars. Uh, it'd be nitpicking for me on this guitar to find any fault in it really at all. Um, and when I play it, I don't even think about that. It plays so good and feels so good into my ear, sounds so good that if I had an issue with it, it'd probably disappear, especially for the money, but I really don't. So uh, let's just listen to it for a little bit. Now, my goal is to not overplay, which I'm a professional at, and let this guitar speak, so forgive me if I do. I don't mean to. Um, and let's start with the bridge pickup. We're gonna just go straight from this guitar into a headstrong little King amp, which is what I predominantly use. And uh, it's a 112. So this is the guitar all open, volume and tone. <laughs>
really nice tones there. The neck may be my favorite position. I like all three of them, but the neck position is real full. effects on it and then we'll be we'll be through so what I usually use is a always an RC booster by exotic I have one that's on all the time um, it's got just enough crunch on it to where uh, with no overdrive pedals we'll still get a little nastiness Compressor, which just gives um, it's pretty subtle. I don't like to hear a compressor very much, but it definitely gives me a little more time on those chords for it to be strong. Okay, uh, I have a full job two pedal. It's an absolute dinosaur, like myself. It's like a 2002 or something, and I still use it because I'm stuck in my ways, I guess. <laughs> and uh, too cheap to buy a new one, but, um, but I still like it, so. Mistakes were intentional, right? 
most importantly, I hope this gave you um, some information on these guitars. Totally satisfied in every every way with the guitar. Um, it's actually even got some you know some pretty wood in it for I'm sure wood that they don't use on just every you know their high end guitars, but the wood in the guitars is really pretty to me. So uh, thanks for checking it out. And uh, if you get one or have any questions, just send me a message here on YouTube and uh, let me know if you get one. And I wish you all the best with your music and your playing. Thanks for taking your time to check this out.